the game hunted channel another episode clash royale in this episode we have another spotlight car we have the cannon a cannon is the defensive building you can unlock this one in arena 3 quite effective it's an interesting upgrade from the bomb tower uh the bomb tower has a hit speed of 1.6 per second and the cannon is 0.8 so that makes that cannon quite interesting besides the fact that look at the cost of the cannon only three elixirs the same price of a knight for example right so the cannon is a really valuable card that you can play around i mean it's not probably the favorite if i if i start asking people who are probably in the arena three and four and five i don't think that many people use the cannon but i found really interesting to mix the cannon with tesla tower for example both defensive buildings are quite cheap and they complement quite okay. The cannon is really good against Hog Riders, really good against Barbarian. It doesn't have splash damage, so eh, against Goblin is not the best. But again, the hit speed is what making the cannon one of the most interesting buildings that you definitely need to try in the Arena 3. Alright, so it's time to head to the Arena Royale and see the cannon in action. You guys are ready? Let's roll! Let's go to the Royal Arena! Um, we're gonna start with a cannon, Princess, Tesla, Fireball, my opponent, Britney Spears, Golem, Lightning, and Arrow. Ugh, that's not good. <laughs> this is definitely not a good start. Let's see what we're gonna do. This is a high level player, so again, let's see if the cannon is useful or not. We're gonna start with a Tesla. Now that I see that my opponent is bringing a Golem, probably it's a good idea to put a cannon. Let's put the cannon close to. Probably this is not the best area to deploy the cannon that's what i like to show you when i make mistakes also this cannon is more effectively when it's close to the tower because of the range but in the meantime we got the princess doing a little bit of damage against the tower and also against that golem it's time to deploy a little group of goblins see if the goblins can do their part uh, not that much because that wizard bringing spears are golem and pushing forward we are in big trouble first we are in big trouble that tower the bottom left corner is going down, but here comes the cannon one more time. Really cheap car and really easily was able to dispatch most of the units. Not bad at all, you see? I mean, the cannon has some, uh, like I said, a lot of people don't like it because of the range, because it doesn't have splash damage. But look at the cannon defending the princess without any any problem bringing down that group of Larrys. Uh, just that I was going to take care of my princess. I know that. I know that, but again, the cannon so far is doing quite okay against a high level deck. Well, you need to appreciate when you see a car like that performing the way the cannon is doing. Let's wave a little bit. Let's see what the opponent's gonna do. Golem is coming, so probably it's a good idea to go for the right side with a hack rider and some goblins. And let's start pushing forward to the top right tower with a little fireball. There you go. Hit points are going down. Hog Riders and Goblins are doing a really good job. 352 hit points left. That's not bad at all. And in the meantime, on defense, I got the Tesla Tower and also had the Cannon. Look at the tower. The range of the Cannon is not the best, but it's doing some decent damage against the Golem. Look at that. And also, we got the Princess in the back and Britney Spears providing some support. This is actually really good. This is a really good part in defense. Oh, arrows are coming. All my units are down. No, my princess. Remember, I mentioned that before. Fireball can bring down a princess. Arrows, not that much. Now we're going to start pushing with the princess for each side. Let's see if we can get close and start attacking the top left tower. I know the one in the right side is kind of under control. So if I put that princess, I should be in good shape. But I was supposed to be in good shape. Come on, man. <laughs> Here comes the golden one more time. Fireball to do some damage to the tower and also to the golem. Hog Rider to distract a little bit that wizard. And that tower is supposed to go down. Tower is down. Completely, completely down. And now it's pushing toward the king tower. Things are gonna... They're getting ugly. They're getting ugly. But look at my diff... Whoa. Okay. Lightning. <laughs> Lightning is a killer. Lightning is a tower killer. That's good that I, we saw that in action because it's true. It's true. It's really, really difficult to get rid of the... Atta I mean, when somebody attack you with lightning, they can destroy your towers. You put them together. But still, we were able to prevail in a high-level match with the cannon. Let's go for the next one.
Battle number two against another high level player. Let's see what we're gonna do. We got Fireball, Goblins, Britney Spears, Wizard, my opponent, Britney Spears, Wizard, Arrow, and Freeze. Okay. Okay, good. Good luck to you. I need to remember what's going on in this one. But uh, I don't have any defensive cards in my hand, so I need to be a little bit careful. What we're going to do is we're deploy some Britney Spears from the left side. Now we have the cannon. The cannon can be placed right here in the middle. That's actually a really good spot for the cannon. Really good spot. Because it's, if, for example, Hog Riders start attacking me, that cannon in that location is going to attract both towers in each side to attack also the Hog Rider, right? So that's why it's a good, good, good location. The range of the cannon is not the best. But if you, depending on the placement, you can do some really, really cool combos. Right now with the Tesla Tower and the Cannon, well, that Wizard doesn't stand a chance. That Mini P.E.K.K.A. doesn't even... I, I, I don't think we saw the, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. I think I heard the Mini P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> That's how powerful they are in Tesla Towers. Again, P.E.K.K.A.s, you know, you know the story, right? You play Clash too. Okay, so two minutes to go. Really defensive match. We need to be ultra patient. Hog Rider is coming from the right side. Let's see when they put the cannon in the middle. The cannon come out, came out a little bit late, but at least I got my goblins. That's what I like about this deck. It's kind of cheap, right? I mean, some of the cards are really, really cheap, so I can deploy them on the battlefield extremely, extremely fast. And now we're going to start moving from the right side with goblins. I got the princess in the left side. Uh, my opponent having having some issues right now, trying to stop the princess. He's doing some... Interesting damage against that tower. It's not that much, but it's adding, adding some damage. Look at that, 818. Not too bad. That wizard doesn't stand a chance because I got a Tesla and I have two cannons right now. Two cannons. Again, this uh, position of defensive building is probably not the best. I will spread these defenses a little bit. I'll probably put one in one side of the row, the other one in the other side of the row. Because if they use a line in, they can actually bring down both defensive buildings in one go. But anyway, let's keep pushing forward. And here start the combo. Hog Rider, Goblins, and also Britney Spears. Uh, we should be able to push forward against the tower in the top left side. Well, we got stopped because of the freeze. We come Barbarian, we come Goblins, but we have some cannons and we have some Tesla Towers in the back to take care of this guy. Look at that. Those cannons are capable to stop Barbarians like nobody else. Like nobody else. Hog Rider start pushing forward. Let's see if Britney Spears can provide some support. The Princess is coming from the left side. Hog Rider is coming from the right side too. We are in big, big, big trouble, fellas. Big trouble. Goblins are gonna assist. Bring down the Hog Rider. Yes, we were able to prevail, and that mini P.E.K.K.A is going to just go down perfectly. That wizard one more time without any protection, and the cannon, again, is saving me big time at this stage of the match. Because, remember, with a plus two elixir, with two times elixir and the last minute rush, we can deploy cannons extremely fast in the game. Look at that tower in the left side. The princess was able to take care of business, and with the cannon, we were able to prevail. Two seconds to go, one second to go, the victory is Hour, another match against another hot player with Dom using some cannons. Not bad at all. Let's go for the last one. Let's try one more time the cannon. Uh, we're going with Britney Spears, Hawk Rider, Cannon, Princess, my opponent, Tesla, Elixir Collector, Barbarians. Ah, Minion Horde. Okay, that's trouble. <laughs> that's trouble. Remember, with a cannon, we cannot attack air units so be careful now we're gonna start pushing from the right side hog rider and priestess my opponent decided to place the collector right there so that tells me that i have some extra seconds to push and do some damage to the top right corner tower that group of barbarians is gonna bring me down but i got my cannon in defense and with brainy spears we should be able to take care of these guys without any problem double cannon right now no problem at all no problem at all that cannon that cannon right now is in a really good spot. Princess taking care of the minions, please. Take care. Thank you so much. As long as the princess is out of range of the minions at the beginning, it's in a really, really good spot to take care of the big group of minion fellas. Big group of minions are going down because of the princess. My opponent is also using a bunch of defensive buildings. I got two Tesla at level 7. I'm going to put a Tesla right across to the border. That's going to allow me to place my princess without any issues and I, I really don't like that elixir that's that's my concern that elixir collector is not good for me here comes the hog rider using lightning but some of my goblins were able to stay alive we got another cannon in a defensive stand uh, yeah those goblins don't stand a chance <laughs> we're getting close to the one minute mark and uh, the tower in the top right corner had 228 
hit points left so we should be okay so now let's deploy the prince and do a little more damage one more time arrow arrows are not capable to kill the princess in one go so the princess was capable to destroy the first tower without any issue now we got the tesla tower right there in a very 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 good defensive location there's a fireball let's try to bring down that elixir collector it's coming down really fast so we should be fine we got a battle of the tesla towers in the middle of the base <laughs> That looks super crazy. Goblins are coming, helping me against a Hog Rider. Lightning is coming. Lightning couldn't... Be oh, Lightning? I thought Lightning is going to be able to bring down my cannon. Apparently not. Apparently not. One more time. Tesla and cannon are working quite okay together. Those barbarians don't stand a chance. They already missed their target. And now they're going again. the Tesla Tower. No chance to survive. All right. Wizard probably is going to go down. We're gonna push forward with Hog Riders and also with the Wizard. We should be okay. Now we can create a defensive perimeter with the Tesla Tower and the Cannon. We should be just fine. Why am I putting those buildings together? It's because I'm trying to destroy the, the Lightning. Exactly. I don't care if the Lightning destroy both my defensive buildings because they're so cheap to deploy that i rather see my opponent wasting the Lightning against those buildings that are something more important. And Victor Sauer with three seconds to go. We were able one more time to prevail using the cannon, our spotlight car of this episode. Fellas, this is the game Hunter. You want me to try one specific car? Let me know in the commentary section. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share my videos. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.